All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. Name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mohavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai. In who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. Excuse me. This lesson is going to be straight to the point. Yes, decisive and going into the ungodly, the mindset of the ungodly, the mindset of the unbelievers. And this particular chapter, some will read it and say, Esau, Esau, this whole particular chapter is dealing with all the ungodly, right? All the ungodly. We're going to go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. For the ungodly said so this this basically goes into characteristics of those that are not right those that are not chosen the other nations including our people and esau because men they're just only giving you what one side of the spectrum why because they're small in the mind and not just not that's not the only reason because they don't want you to know the whole truth therefore what does that make them false prophet for the ungodly said reasoning within themselves so the ungodly yes they reason within themselves and amongst themselves a hive mentality they call it okay but not a right our life is short and tedious this is how majority of this world thinks wash well, our life is a short and tedious means wearisome laborsome boring and this is why people they feed the flesh instead of feeding the spirit they choose to feed the flesh sure it's tedious because most people they think life is just getting up having a doo-doo having a wee going to work coming back doing the same thing eating having a doo-doo go having a pee going to work same thing going to the going to the bar so it's the, it's the same pattern it's the same pattern these people have and it doesn't change, that's life to them. Going to the bar, going to the cafe. That's not life, right? And in the death of man, there is no remedy, okay? No healing, no coming back. That's how they think. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. So they don't believe in reincarnation, right? Coming back. And it says, for we are born at all adventure, and me shall be hereafter as though we had never been. Okay. This is that it's the YOLO spirit. YOLO spirit. So those that don't believe, they're gonna have a particular mindset of do what do as thy will, which is the philosophy of Alistair Crowley. Do as thy will, but there's consequences. There's consequences for that. Right? That's why repentance is so key. And me shall be hereafter as though we had never been. In other words, we're just going to vanish. But the thing is, you will be judged. Everybody that goes before the Heavenly Father when they die, they're judged. The Queen, as soon as she died, her spirit went, where did it go? To the Heavenly Father, she was judged. Okay. And she had come back, what, in another body. And it says, for the breath in our, in our nostrils as a smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart right which being extinguished our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish at a soft air right which is true your body what returns back to the elements the dirt and your spirit that goes back to the heavenly father your spirit don't vanish right spirits don't vanish right and how do you know that because when the demons were being driven out of that man that had the unclean spirit on him. What did the demon say to Yahweh Shai? First they said, torment me not. 
And uh, what did they say? Send us out. Send us not out of the land, but into another vessel. So they just go into other vessels. Right? So the brothers that are dealing with demons, battling with demons, them demons in the in the kingdom, them demons are gonna be upon the, the different nations. They don't go anywhere. They just go into different vessels, jump into vessels and hide. Alright? This is verse maybe just a minute. This is verse 4 And our name shall be forgotten in time That's not true That's not true Because even Cyrus uh, Nebuchadnezzar Was their, was their um, memory forgotten? No Right and they were not holy These were not holy men Even though some Israelites We found favour within them So your name ain't forgotten In time And no man shall have our works in remembrance So they, they don't believe in There's any consequences they just believe you can just do what you want and that's it that's just life we were just here to be born do what you want and just what die and our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof like unto when you see a cloud and it's hot and the sun pierces through that cloud and it divides and it vanishes it's how people see life in other words they don't value life and to really value life, that means you have to value the scriptures. To really value life, you have to value the scriptures. Right? So they don't value life. They're trying to do as much as possible before they die. <laughs> right? And it says, For our time is as a very shadow that passeth away. And after our end there is no returning. For it is far sealed, so that no man come, cometh again. So they don't believe in you coming back. They don't believe in a higher power. Come on therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present. The things, the here and the now, that's a very, very carnal, base mindset, right? That are present. And let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth, right? Let us fill ourselves with costly wine, that expensive wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring passes by right so this will acquaint to anyone that may be wealthy expensive wine costly um oil right it's not just referring to esau and it says let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered crowning yourself with rosebud is a greek and roman custom right that they would put on their head and they still do it today when they're celebrating you see people with um rose petals and different flowers wrapped around their head as a sign of what joy and merriness which is all pagan festivity let none of us go without his part of voluptuousness okay joy mirth so there's individuals they need to live like that just just to feel better within the day there's people like that they need to do something to satisfy the flesh instead of satisfying the spirit let us leave tokens of our joyfulness, right? And that's where you get graffiti as well. So and so was here, 2020, 2021, 2019, right? Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. For this is our portion and our lot is this, right? Because that's what they do. Right, they leave tokens, right, different signs that they were there having fun. These are empty people, these are shallow people. For this is our portion. That's their portion. And our lot is this. So you got some people, they were just born in vain. The scriptures tell you that. Some were born in vain. If you don't have a purpose to serve you have a shy, it means you were just born in vain right which everyone should have a purpose but this was their purpose right to live it up good hair to live nice hair and that's why a lot of people sell out let us oppress the poor righteous man and you can also tie this in with what masonry because the masons they're taught to what go against the what the righteous right that's what they're taught 
in, Mace, it's in the Masonic lodges, they're taught to go against the righteous, right? Make yourself an enemy. That's what they're taught in these lodges, right? If you're not agreeing with them. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, right? No reverence to ancient grey hairs of age. So they don't respect anyone. They don't even respect themselves. And that's why you have a shy is going to take them out. No reverence to ancient grey hairs of age. Let our strength be the law of justice. Esau's judicial system, which is so corrupt, that's their law of justice. Or they make up their own law of justice within their communities. They make up their own. What suits them, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. For that which is fable is found to be nothing worth, right? Nothing worth. And that's how they see the Middle Lord as feeble, okay? But we actually do have power. Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous. Lie. That's plot. That's scheme, right? So this, 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 was, this is the mindset of those that are ungodly. Lie in wait for the righteous, right? Because he is not for our turn. We're not for them. We don't promote left-hand side wickedness. We don't promote masonry on the left hand side. That's wickedness. Right? For he is not for our doings. He doesn't want to join. He doesn't want to join us. He doesn't want to worship Bap Home, the androgynous demon. Right? So if you're in this world, you actually you have to what? Worship Bap Home, which is an idol, which is Satan. Right? And it says, because he is not. For our turn and they know we're not for their turn all right these scriptures break down every little thing we're not for it and they know that oh this individual is talking about america's going to be destroyed he's speaking against our hierarchy our system of course this is why you're going to have enemies this is why you're going to have those that don't like the words because they know you're not for their turn they know what you're about they watch your videos they watch our videos he's not for us so we might as well come against him for he is clean, con contrary to our doings. So the righteous would be clean, contrary to what? Those that are doing things on the left hand side. Clean, contrary to their doings. How comes he ain't doing things the way we're doing it? Just conform. That's what spirit they have. Because they are a bunch of zombies. But the elect are going to come out of that way of thinking. He upbraideth us, right? With our offending, Ralong. Right? So I break, right? Oh, he's talking bad about us, what we're doing. We're eating pork, we're having orgies, committing adultery, smoking. Who is he to tell us what to do? That's what spirit they have, right? Because these people don't want to change. So you're like a fawn in their side, right? Really, you're a, you're a reflection, you brothers and sisters I'm speaking to, you're a reflection of what they're not, what they want to be, what they could be, but they're not. So when they see you, it irks them. It irks them inside. Especially when you have eyes that are open and they know you can see. So because they know you can see, that irritates them. They don't like that. Okay. They know, oh man. Oh man, we have a neighbor. We have someone on the road. We have someone on the street. He can see everything. He's awake. So that makes people feel uncomfortable because they're wicked. An objective to our infamy and the transgression of our education, right? What they were taught, whatever lies, whatever rubbish they were taught, right? We're not with it. He professes to have the knowledge of the Most High. Oh, he thinks he knows God. This, this is how they think. This is how they think, and they're not. They're not saying. Some of them are not saying it outwardly. Some of them are thinking this inwardly. And he called himself the child of the Lord, Yahweh Abishai. He was made to approve our thoughts. Yes, you had particular men that were put upon this earth to reprove others. It's just the way it is. That's what the prophets were set up to do. Okay. What are you getting mad for? That's what they were sent here to do. 
right? They're like, um, you know these movies with the superheroes? They're the superheroes, right? Starting with Yahweh Shai, right? And the elect. You watch the Marvels and all these different programs, well, again, that's what the elect are. Like and unto what them superheroes, right? And it says, bear me just a minute. Where was I? Where was I? He is grievous. Here it goes. He's grievous. No other saying because you've awoken up. So people, they cannot do or they feel they cannot do the things around you because they feel that they're being watched. Why? Because you have the spirit of Yahabashai. <laughs> so you have the spirit of Yahabashai upon you. So that's why this happens. He is grievous. Grievous is an annoyance. Just your presence alone irritates them. Not all, not all people, because some people take to it. But majority, those that don't want to change. Even us to behold, for his life is not like other men's. Right? So they see how you move. And how you move is not like the world. So you're going to stand out. I've got to say this as well. No matter how much times you try to blend in, you're going to stand out. A lot of people, they don't want to stand out. But you have to. If you're made separate, you're going to stand out. I thought it was the opposite. No, you wouldn't stand out. No, you're going to stand out. Because you're not following the rest of the world. You're doing what the rest of the world are not doing. For his life is like for his life is not like other men's. It's not like yours. It's not it's not like everybody else's. Right? His ways are of another fashion. Right? And people speak about that. Something different. I don't know. Some women may say that as well. There's something different about him. I don't know what it is, but there's something. People see it. And that's when they start doing all the investigating and getting nosy. Right? We are seeing this him as counterfeits, the opposites. And you also got counterfeit prophets within this truth. The abstaining from our ways is from filthiness, the ways of the world. Because when you go to Second Peter's, it talks about those that were um, polluted, those that went back into the world, right? Likened unto a dog that returns to his vomit. So you go back into the world, you become polluted with the people of this world. All right? His ways are of another fashion. We are seen as him as counterfeits. He abstaineth from our ways, from, from filthiness. He pronounced of the end of the just to be blessed and make it false that the Most High is his father. Was not Yahabashai doing that? Making boast that Yahabashai was his father. Let us see if his words be true. I just want to grab something as well. Just a minute. Let us see if his words be true. All right? And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. So this is where the examination, that cruelty, that mocking comes. For if the just man be the son of the most high, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Right? So that's how they think. Well, we're going to do all this. We're going to test him. He says he believes. So if, he, if there really is a power, he would deliver him. This is how people, this is how demonic people are. Right? So basically, they're tempting the Lord Jehovah Shai. Let us examine him with despitefulness, being cruel, and torture. That we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Who done this? Who done, is this just being my ace or no? This, the, the Jews were doing this to Yahabashai. Remember, they were reading on him. Right? Such things that they imagine and were deceived. So you've got men that claim to be in the truth. They're deceived. They're in an evil spirit. You just bring out a full lesson on Yahabashai and watch how certain men react. Because they were deceived. For their own wickedness have blinded them. It was your own wickedness. And that's why Yahabashai said to some, forgive them for they know not what they do. Some of them, some of them knew what they were doing and others, they didn't have a clue. All right. Excuse me just a minute. Let's go to Psalms 22 and jump to Yes, start at 22. My power, my power, why hast thou forsaken me? Yahabashai felt like that when he was upon the cross, right? He felt forsaken. Why art thou so far from from helping me? Even in times, it may seem like that, but Yahabashah is always there. Wasn't he always there with Job? 
all them trials, Yahabashah was there watching. And from the words of my roaring, all my power, Yahweh, in the daytime, but thy hair is not, and in the night season, and I'm not silent. But thou art holy, O holy, that inhabitest the praise of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted them, thou didst deliver them. Right? They cried unto thee and they were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. They were never confounded. Right? But I am a worm and no man. Right? And this is prophecy of Yahabashai, reproach of all men, of men and despise of the people. The scriptures tell you that in Isaiah 53 and 3. All that see me laugh me to scorn. You see how spiritual this is? Laugh at me. So when people, when you're walking past, people want to laugh, you let them laugh. It's the same thing they were doing. Right? It's the same thing, even with the Pharisees, they had a demonic laugh. Ha 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 ha. Let them laugh. They're going to be laughing to their own destruction. All that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot at the lip, run their mouths. They shake the head, saying, he trusted on the Lord Yahweh that he would deliver him. So they were shaking their head when Yahweh was on the cross. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. This is the mindset. This is the mindset of our people. Right? This is what they said. And there's more. I would um, advise brothers to read that whole chapter of Psalms 20. That was King David prophesying the crucifixion right, of his son, Solomon, which would later be Yahweh Shai. In, in future lifetime right what would he what would he have to go through so again the scriptures it always really it mainly deals with israel our people we could talk about esau all day long esau's the devil esau's the whipping stick and that's all he is and he's he's going to be destroyed but the problem always lied with what our people right coming up against the prophets coming up against his words and they're back here again today to get judged right lest they reform their ways so with this lesson i really really hope this was edifying and until the next one shalom